I'm so happy somebody ratted out the meat thermometer attacker. That incident last week, people down in L.A. watching them Shutter Island, and somebody's using their cell phone, said, would you please turn that off? And she and her two male companions left and came back seconds later and stabbed the guy in the neck with a meat thermometer, about killed him, and cut a cut or beat down other people who tried to come to his aid. But somebody ratted him out. Anonymous tip led them to the home of one 39-year-old Landry Boulard. Nice. Good-looking fellow. Doesn't look at all like the kind of guy who'd stab somebody else with a meat thermometer. Oh, yeah, that's right. He looks exactly like that. For telling you to not talk during a movie? <clears throat> yeah, exactly. He's studying to be an air conditioning and refrigeration specialist, according to the cops. He never worked for the Bell Brothers. They screened their workers very uh-huh. carefully. Uh, the uh, theater was packed. Victim not identified, hospitalized with serious injuries. God, they got to just... Let's throw this guy off a cliff. Is that, uh, it's unusual, but is it cruel? That might be cruel and unusual. <laughs> yeah, that fits my definition. <laughs> R- run him over with a car. Cruel, but not unusual. No. Yes. Very common. Yes. Uh, some data out on chat roulette. I still have not <laughs> checked out chat roulette, but I'm guessing the data is penis heavy. Are you still into it? No. Off of it. Don't yeah. like it. Chat roulette is 89% male, 47% American, and 13% pervert, <laughs> according to a new study. Which is pretty high, because that means, what, one out of eight times you're going to get a pervert? Yeah. It's high enough. It's high enough. Yeah. yeah. Considering, you know, eight connections could take less than a minute. Yeah. Yes. It's a blue dots playground. I don't like it. No. it seems like There's it. some fun and creativity going on. And a lot of wanking. Well, yes, and a lot of wanking, but there's one guy I read about who was improvising a song, playing the piano for everyone he connected with. He'd look at him, ask him a question, and then play and sing a song about them. That's, that's novel. There's people who are, like, faking up crime scenes so you connect with them, and they've got a, a knife and a severed head. Um, and they look at the, the, the screen and click it off. And You know, it's there's some art but happening. How often <laughs> could you do that and stay entertained yourself? Mm. Not that long. I saw a guy cutting himself. Oh, he was a cutter. Nice. Ugh. Yucky. Did you know that the 15th annual Bay Area Anarchist Book Fair was going on recently? I, no, wish, I missed it. It was this last weekend. I wish I'd attended it. I like. Uh, I don't know why I'm fascinated by anarchists. Anarchists of the world unite. I'm really <laughs> interested in anarchists. I don't quite get it, but I, I find it interesting. People that are committed to it, I think it's really interesting. Anyway, anarchists, um, yeah, the funny thing about anarchists is they don't like, they don't like people who think differently than them, which is kind of the whole point of. And they're spoiled upper, upper middle class morons. Here's a 45 year old, uh, Arcata resident who we're going to try to get on the air, who is a, uh, author. Well, has a book. Does that make you an author in the modern world it having does. a book? Arguably. Because I could have a book by this afternoon in the modern world. You can self-publish it so easily. And right. I don't know if I'm an author. Anyway, Lier Keith, 45-year-old Arcata resident, was attacked at the Anarchist Book Fair. Well, how would you define an author? That a big publishing house uh, did your book? I don't know. It seems I like... I think it's you're an elitist. It seems like a few people ought to pay for it and read it for you to be an author. Mm. Even one person. Yeah. Ever. Ever. Yeah. Then you're an author. Paid for it. Michael. Yeah, I know. I know, but don't. All right. Back to the story. Anyway, at the Anarchist Book Fair, this uh, this author was attacked at 2.15 p.m. Um, pied, which is not much of an attack, although it was a chili pepper laced pie. Oh, so it, it probably burned his eyes. Well, it wouldn't be comfortable. But anyway. They put pepper juice in his eyes, Jack. They tortured him. The book is The Vegetarian Myth. What the hell? A 20-year vegan, this author, Lier Keith, now argues that the diet is unhealthy and that agriculture is destroying the world. So they pepper pied him for And that? so you get attacked at the Anarchist Book Fair if you say, you know, being a vegetarian is really a vegan is really not that healthy. <clears throat> so you get attacked. Nice. That, that doesn't fit in well, with anarchy, does it? Uh, yes, it does. That's anarchy. <laughs> Yeah, you'd be attacked physically at any time for anything if somebody doesn't like what you're saying. 
Maybe that's no your, order. Maybe that's your version of the modern anarchy, but my, not my anarchy. In my anarchy, we all have rules. <laughs> The manners. It's carefully regimented anarchy. Get in line. I'd like to get this person on the air, though, and find out. There's an anarch- the anarchist bookstore up in San- in uh, Seattle that I go to every time I'm in Seattle. I just really, really enjoy it. Mm-hmm. People, it just, I, I don't I don't get it. You seem like a bunch of Fruit Loops to me, like complete Fruit Loops. Like what you say doesn't make any sense is, is, and is completely unworkable. Well, yeah. I, I, how do you expect society to be organized? You don't. Every man for himself. But it's going to organize somehow. Uh, why? Why do you say that? Just because it always has with no exceptions? Entire human history, is that why? You're just a follower, man. Tell you what. That's where I got that composting your own manure book at the Anarchist Bookstore. Mm, how's that going for you? I haven't tried it. Mm. I should try it now that I got a kid. Your own manure? Or yeah, like the manure yeah. that's produced by your animals? No, your own. Oh, Lord. Mm. No, thank ye. What, do you just poo in a bucket? Throw it out back? Mix it up with some leaves and, uh, and you know, like, uh, I don't know, kitchen scratch? You know, I'd never changed a diaper in my life until a week ago or so. Is that right? Yeah, never in my life. Well, you know, um... I'm not sure I had prior to having a youngster either, just because generally speaking as an adult male, people don't invite you to deal That's with true. their children's genitalia. That's true. It's more often for women with babysitting or whatever. Sure. Yeah. Um, my wife got um, uh, uh, sprayed, I guess, oh. changing a diaper the other day. Oh, yeah. It's always hilarious. Because um, they told us at the birthing center, they said when you're changing a diaper, it'll often like turn into the Plato Fun Factory. And I had that experience. Mm. I've had to uh to uh take fantastic to the walls. Well like this experience my wife described is more like uh when you're at the end of a whipped cream can. <laughs> it's more like that. <laughs> oh nice. <laughs> Very I just, nice. I guess that's human nice. behavior. But you know it's it's no mystery you you, uh, you know uncover the little lad and the the chilly air hits his unit. And just the urge strikes, and then you get sprayed. Oh, from the the urine. Yeah, yeah. No, I was talking about the other. Oh, she end. got gassed. Y- yeah, as it were. Yeah, the other, and that's why it was like a whipped cream. Well, the end yeah, of whipped cream part. canister. Mm. No, the pee thing with a boy. Yeah, we still haven't figured out. They sell these things called PPTPs. Have you seen a PPTP? No. Yeah, it's a clever, cute little name, right? I hate it. And it's a little. It looks like a TP, and you're supposed to, but it doesn't work that well. So. Mm. Does your boy have a powerful stream? Well, just, just knocked it right off. And that's or what? the one thing I forget about every time I'm changing a diaper. Is yeah. I forget, and then that's the warning. Don't let mean. down your guard. <laughs> and I, I suppose a couple of times, and you'll probably start to <laughs> you remember. Get it out an eyeful of it. Ow! It is really the wild card with changing the diaper with a yeah. boy. So it's like you're the front row of a Gallagher <laughs> yeah. comedy show. So you yeah. gotta, it seems like I've got okay. everything under control. I'm doing such a great job. I really have this down, and then all of a sudden. <laughs> The front row of Gallagher's show, the show he does in Bangkok. <laughs> he does a very special show when he's there. The PPTP. It yeah. is a little cutesy, isn't it? Well, yeah, well, it's little, yeah. You'll get quicker, though. Just zip, 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 zap, zip. The kid will do. Ah, damn it. Average kid goes through 10,000 diapers. That's what studies show. And you're using cloth diapers, right? Oh, of course. Hemp hewn recycled organic cloth diapers. Organic. 100% organic. That you cotton. wash yourself using recycled water right. from your own toilet bowl. Right, with safety pins made of uh, recycled aluminum. That's yes, right. Of course we are. 10,000 diapers per kid. That's that's a lot of diapers. If I change a quarter of them, I'm going to change 2,500. That's hard to even imagine. Just let the kid run around, do it when he needs to do it, keep a mop handy. They toilet train faster that way. Call Zero Res often. <laughs> uh, you are listening to the Armstrong and Getty Show. Armstrong and Getty, wrapping up another grueling four-hour workday. Go to armstrongandgettyradio.com. Get in our video parody contest. Fabulous prizes there, plus a lot of good links, info, fun. Yeah, we don't have time to tell you about the prize, but check it out online. Unbelievable prize from the Meritage Resort at armstrongandgettyradio.com. God bless America. (laughs) Nice work, everyone. Sharp broadcast. Really good. Everyone on the floor as well. Really a lot of hustle. I liked it. Okay, folks. Show's over. Nothing to see here. I love you, and good night. The worst episode ever. America, I'm going to shoot straight with you. I think I've wasted your time. You know what? If you don't like it, go on the internet and complain. Put the golf club down, you crazy bitch! You mother I never should have married you! You're overreacting, you stupid Swedish cow! Then why the f*** are you getting the text a message from some low-life hooker on Thanksgiving? This is it. How do you like that? It's crap. 
it's crap.